สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I am doing a video to hopefully answer all the questions you have about coconut milk. It's a crucial ingredient in Thai cooking, and I get a ton of questions about it. And I'm going to be doing videos like this on other ingredients as well. So if you want to learn more about Thai ingredients, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them when I make them. And I'll put them all in a playlist. I'll put the link to that playlist in the description below and also right up here. So let's get started. What is coconut milk? A lot of people cook with it, but never really thought about where it comes from. It is quite literally the juice that is pressed out of the meat of a mature coconut. Okay, and if you really want to see how it gets made, I have a video of me making it from scratch, the old school way. It's a pretty cool video. I'll make sure I put the link right up here, and then you really understand what this white stuff. Is in Thai, by the way, coconut milk is called gati. So, what is the difference between coconut milk and coconut cream? So, technically, the coconut cream is fattier and thicker and has less water. So, in the same way that dairy milk and dairy cream differ, right? But I will never call in my recipes for coconut cream because I find that different brands. Have very different amounts of fat, whereas coconut milk, if it's labeled coconut milk, the amount of fat and richness tends to be more similar between brands. Okay, and in Thailand, we don't actually have coconut cream per se. We have first press and second press, and first press is pure coconut milk, and second press has some water mixed into it. So just know that for my recipes, don't use cream unless you actually want something that's richer than what I am making. What is not coconut milk, and this is very important. Recently, there's been a product such as this one that people are generally referring to as coconut milk, but this is actually coconut beverage. Okay, this is very thin. It's a drink, and <laughs> you don't want to drink coconut milk. That's very fatty stuff. This. Has had all the coconut fat, well, most of it anyway, taken out of it, and it doesn't taste anything like coconut. So the point of this is so that you know people who are lactose intolerant can drink it, right? So if you want to see the texture, look at this. Look how thin it is, right? And you know, like coffee shops will use this in their lattes for like a vegan latte and whatnot. It is so thin you cannot use this to cook with. Okay, I'm gonna give it a taste for you. First of all, it doesn't smell like. Anything, no coconut whatsoever. <laughs> it also doesn't taste like anything. It's so thin, and it just tastes like a little bit thicker water, which is I don't. I'm not a fan of this stuff. But anyway, don't use that. And coconut water is. A completely different ingredient, not substitutable in any way, shape, or form. Adam just told me he used to think coconut water was like the more diluted version of coconut milk. That is not the case. Okay, this is a liquid inside a coconut. That is liquid that is pressed out of a coconut meat. Okay, two very different things. The million-dollar question: Which coconut milk do I recommend? So I, if you watch the show, always recommend this one. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video. <laughs> I am not being paid by any of these people. Um, so this is UHT Ultra High Temperature Pasteurized. It's a hundred percent coconut milk, no preservatives, no nothing in it. This is actually the most popular prepackaged coconut milk in Thailand. I had never actually seen the canned coconut milk until I came to. Canada, and it tastes better than the can one. However, the can seems to be more widely available, and it is okay. You can use it.、Um, just one thing to point out, though. Like, see these two? This one's just coconut milk, and then this one says coconut milk for dessert. There is no difference that I can detect. Between these two things in the ingredient list, it's exactly the same. I think they just label it like this so if people are making dessert, they feel better. Oh, this is the one I want.、Um, but just FYI, they're pretty much interchangeable. Now I want to show you sort of the difference between texture and flavor. Well, I can't show you the flavor, but the texture of canned versus carton coconut milk, and it's always a little bit like gloopier and thicker. And when I make curries, I can't actually get this to separate. Meaning, I can't get the coconut oil to separate from the coconut milk because I believe it's been homogenized. The other one, by the way, you always want to give coconut milk a shake. 
before you use it because the fat over time will rise to the top. So just look at that difference. Look how much more liquid it is. That's what fresh coconut milk looks like. It should run freely. It shouldn't be this sort of like thick, gloopy, almost like it looks almost like it's been thickened with flour, but it's not. But the flavor, already the smell is different. It's fine for general cooking, but it's not very similar to freshly made coconut milk if you've ever had it. So the other one, it's so much closer. Like I wish I could just show this to you right now. Like the difference is pretty drastic. Now, before you freak out, I know a lot of you cannot get this. If you're making savory dishes, the canned ones will be just fine. Okay, because you're going to have a lot of competing flavors, a lot of herbs and spices. You won't taste too much of a difference. But if you are making dessert where coconut flavor is key, it will actually show. So if you can uh, get this one, you can buy it online. So check online sources as well. Now, if canned is the only kind you can get, just make sure you look at the ingredient list and pick one with the least amount of ingredients in it. Because some of them, like this one, has coconut extract, water, monoglycerides, guar gum, xanthan gum, polysorbate 60, cellulose gum, and so on and so forth. I mean, that's nuts, right? Coconut milk should just be coconut with maybe some water. So for example, this one is canned, but it only has coconut extract and water, no preservatives, no thickeners, no nothing. That's what you wanna go for. Um, and by the way, the reason why the carton tastes better than the can is because this is treated with higher temperature, but a shorter amount of time. This is low temp treated, but longer period of time. So the quality of the product deteriorates more. So that's why you wanna go with this one if possible. Yes, there is something called powdered coconut. Under no circumstance should you use this unless you're going camping and you wanna take some light food with you. This actually has a ton of ingredients you don't want. Glucose syrup, so it's gonna have sweetness you don't want. It's got sodium caseinate, which is a milk protein. And that's actually something important because if you make food with coconut milk, people are gonna assume it's dairy free. And if you've got people who are allergic to milk, it could cause some big issues. So camping food only. If you are in Thailand, there's another kind of coconut milk you can get, and that is the ones in bags. So pasteurized bags, it will be in the refrigerated section. It's highly perishable. However, it is the better one of all of these because it is heat treated the least, okay? And it's in bags, like, you know, those old school milk bags. Does anyone know what I'm talking about, milk bags? Let me know in the comments. I'm not crazy, right? Storage. I have found that coconut milk that comes from either the can or this will last for one to two weeks in the fridge. You want to make sure that you put it in a clean container, close it tight, and if you're not planning to use it soon, push it to the back of your fridge where it's coldest, it tends to last longer. And I also like to put it in a clear container because here, if it starts getting mold, you can't see it, right? And you don't want to pour moldy coconut milk into your food. If it's in a clear container, it will be very obvious. It's gross. So. Freezing. You can freeze coconut milk. However, I find that when it thaws, it has it becomes a little grainy, so the texture is a little different. Um, so if you're going to use it in like a curry or a little bit in a stir fry, it's totally fine. But in a dessert, maybe not. Substituting coconut milk. It's actually hard to substitute because there's nothing else out there that tastes like coconut milk. So in desserts where the flavor of coconut milk needs to come out, it's a bit of a challenge. However, in savory dishes where you've got lots of other flavors going, you can go with evaporated milk or a combination of milk and cream as well if you got those in the fridge already. I have had success also making curry for someone who's allergic using soy milk because the flavor of the curry is so strong that it didn't affect the end result that much. Like obviously it was different, but it was still delicious. So if that's the case, give it a go. And that is it. If you've got more questions about coconut milk, which I'm sure you do, reach out to me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or through my website, hotthaikitchen.com. And if you have 
tips and tricks related to coconut milk, share it with us in the comments below. I'm sure lots of people will find that useful. If you haven't subscribed to the show, make sure that you do and click on that little bell icon to make sure you get a notification when I post a new video and look out for more of these ingredient basics video. Don't forget the link to that playlist in the description below. And I will see you next time. Sawatika!